Hi, I'm Brad Keller, Product Consultant for DoctorHelp. Join me as we continue our DoctorHelp video tutorial series. Today, I'm going to show you DoctorHelp's theme designer and how it makes changing the look and feel of your outputs quick and easy. DoctorHelp has a web-based output called NetHelp that's platform independent and completely customizable since it's based on jQuery and HTML5. It is very lightweight and flexible. We're going to take a look at how to do some simple customizations to the skin and brand of your NetHelp target. We'll start with a project that has one simple Word document. I'm going to use DoctorHelp to take this simple document and produce platform independent web content with a customized skin. You can completely change the look of your NetHelp target by making a few quick changes with DoctorHelp's theme designer. First, let's open the theme designer and take a look around. On the home ribbon, click the theme button to open the theme designer. In the theme designer, you can create a theme quickly by selecting from a variety of options. Each one of the options can be customized further if you wish. Click the theme dropdown to choose one of the default themes. For NetHelp, the options are tabs and accordion. The configuration dropdown is used to specify the language for the theme. You can select from 11 languages or you can create your own. You can also change the configuration for right to left languages. DoctorHelp includes over one dozen Widgmo jQuery style sheets that you can choose from in the style sheet dropdown. You can choose from this list or create your own. Anytime you make a change, you'll see that change immediately in the theme designer so you can try different things and see if they work for you. That's just a very quick look around. Now we can customize the NetHelp. To start, we need to create a new theme and name it. I click the Add New Theme button, name the theme, and choose either the Tabs option for the source theme or the Accordion option. I'll choose the Tabs theme, which displays the table of contents, index, and search panes in NetHelp in Tabs. Accordion displays those options as buttons. I click OK and the Theme Editor opens. Now we're ready to customize. First, I'll add a logo to my theme. For this demonstration, I have a PNG file of Sydney, DoctorHelp's mascot. To add the logo, I click the plus sign next to the page header and choose Logo Image. Then, click the ellipsis button and navigate to the Sydney file on my computer. DoctorHelp will note that you need to add a copy of this file to your theme. That's okay, so I'll click Save. Now the image is added to the theme. When I click Apply, I'll see the logo in the theme designer but we can see it's only the tops of the owl's ears. I need to make a small adjustment to fix this. When I click the height option and change the value from 40 to 100, then click OK, the logo fits properly. Next, I want to change the theme's colors to reflect our corporate colors. That is done by changing the style sheet. Our company's colors are orange and yellow. So if I click the style sheet dropdown and choose jQuery-UI slash sunny, Click OK, and now we have a theme that looks the way that we want. The customization options don't end with the theme designer. The theme includes an email button that can be used to send feedback or ask questions. The email will include a link to the topic that was being read when the button was clicked. This is handy for answering questions and troubleshooting. There's one problem though. A placeholder email address is used, so we need to add our own. This is done in the Help Targets dialog box. To change it, I go to the home remit of DoctorHelp and click the dialog box launcher on the lower right. In the Help Targets dialog box, I scroll down to the advanced section and enter my email address in the email address field. While I'm here, if I want to change the text at the top of the NetHelp window, you can do that by editing the caption field in the Help Targets dialog box. This is just the tip of the iceberg. You can customize your themes in many ways. Anything and everything that you see in the NetHelp target can be tweaked or changed. I'm Brad Keller. Thank you for watching, and thanks for choosing Component 1.